guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Adirinke and if you are wondering what i do on this channel this is basically a lifestyle channel where i talk about everything i'm passionate about which is skincare femininity and traveling so basically this channel is going to be about skincare um femininity traveling i'm going to be sharing my journey with you guys and few tips and tricks that i've learned being on this journey so if you're wondering what this um content is about is going i'm going to be reviewing the bundle sans spf 50 sunscreen so this sunscreen is a broad spectrum spf 50 and it is made in australia the spf 50 means it can protect you for two hours if it's spf 30 it means it can only protect you for one hour so this spf 50 can protect you up to two hours and also it is water resistant for 80 minutes which means if you apply the sunscreen and you go swimming you are still protected for more than an hour and it is fragrance free so if you have sensitive skin and you are not the type that likes fragrance this sunscreen is best for you also it is super hydrating let me try this for you guys on camera um so this is it uh if you can see my hands already shining it's because i recorded this video twice and there was this video that i already applied it on my hand so this is um the sunscreen on my hand can you see the afterglow this sunscreen is super hydrating it delivers but then there's the con this sunscreen the fact that it's super hydrating means for my combination skin it's a no-no once i apply this sunscreen on my face it's like something is literally sitting on my face it's super greasy that and you know i have to reapply this for after two hours because after two hours it's basically done doing its job so i have to reapply so that it can do its job again so if you reapply this it's it's super greasy it looks like an oil shine that i don't like <sighs> maybe because i'm used to using misha aqua and that is water based and you know it leaves a matte finish but for this sunscreen i think i'll recommend it for if you have um dry skin but for oily combination I'll give it a 5 over 10 because I don't like the, the afterglow is too much for me but for body this sunscreen is a 10 over 10 guys <laughs> can you spot the glow and if you are wondering what this sunscreen smells like it smells like chemicals <laughs> uh, so my personal review for this sunscreen for face I'll give it a 5 over 10 for body a 10 10 and another con I noticed is that this sunscreen then it has a chemical called the avobenzone and from my research avobenzone tends to clog pores and if you can spot this since I started using the sunscreen I've been noticing some I don't know if this is pastels or postures but they are huge but they are not so visible on camera so you can really but they are huge pimples on my face <laughs> hi why what have i done wrong anyways that's the end of the review of this sunscreen or uh, if you like to purchase this goes for 9095 nigerian store i don't know how much it is in dollars and this is a 150 mil so it's what's your money you have dry skin but for oily combination skin nah it's a no for your face though